Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one of those videos that I am so excited to do because it's going to be about some new releases which will be coming out in the spring of 2017 here in Denmark. As per usual, these are all books that have already been published in English and I believe that the better part of them have been published in 2016. So you might have already heard of these titles and also have read them. If that's the case, that's great but I personally am very excited to see the release of these titles here in Denmark and maybe you can share the excitement with me. You can expect to see these titles on my channel in the upcoming months because I would like to read them and review them as I read them. These are all books that will be published by the Danish publisher L&R which I was so lucky to visit back last spring so I will put the link to that vlog down below in case you want to check it out and see what their offices look like and how many books they have actually published. So let me get started on the list which is going to be in chronological order. First book I have written down that I would like to get my hands on is Amy Gentry's Good As Gone and this is when I have to stand over here so that you can see a beautiful picture of the actual novel. So this one will be released in 20... This one will be released on February the 24th. It is a 308 page novel. This is a thriller that deals with the 13 year old girl called Julie who is being kidnapped in the beginning of the book. Now the parents are obviously devastated However, eight years later, someone knocks at their door and it is a woman who claims that she is their daughter, Julie. So the parents become very excited and they take her in, but the mother starts doubting with time whether this is really Julie or not. So this is basically a book about whether you really know your children or not, which I think sounds quite fascinating. Next book on my list is one of the bigger ones that I look forward to read. This is The Nyx by Nathan Hill. It is a 750 page book and it will be out here in Denmark on February 28th. This is a book about Samuel whose mother left him when he was a little boy and then 20 years later she starts appearing in the media because apparently she has thrown a stone at a Republican and she has started this kind of political war. And that's all I know but I feel like I haven't read a lot of books about this subject which is very political but also very much about identity and finding your parent. So I have a feeling that this is going to be a good combination of both the political aspect as well as the emotional aspect. And 750 pages, that's quite a lot of pages, but I love big books. So I'm just saying this to let you know that that only makes me even more excited to read it. The next title is a book that I need some help with because it is a sequel to this novel, which I was sent unsolicited last year and which is by Jeffrey Archer. Maybe I should figure out the English title before I tell you about it. Only time will tell. I have not read this book yet because as I said, it was sent to me unsolicited and I wasn't sure if it was going to be a book for me. However, the sequel to this book will be out very soon. And that is The Sins of the Father by Geoffrey Archer. It is 400 pages long and it will be out on March the 29th. If you have read this book and you have a feeling that I'm going to like it, please let me know in the comments because then I will make sure to read it before the sequel comes out. And then obviously I will make sure to read the sequel as well and review it on this channel. I believe it's a series about a family whom we follow during history and it's also about the first world war at least this first book is so i don't know if it's a good book that is well written and that has some amazing characters and a great family history then i might be interested to read it now the next title is the one i am the most excited about i really cannot contain my excitement this one is so amazing that i have i have so many feelings when it comes to this novel. This is 4321 by Paul Auster. 
which will be published here in Denmark on April the 1st and it is a 880 page book which is even longer than the other one I was talking about but I don't care, I don't mind because Paul Auster is one of my favorite authors. It's such a shame that I haven't been able to talk a lot about him on this channel because of reasons. I read most of his books when I went to university about five, six, seven years ago and I adored every single one of them. I love his writing style and I love his stories. This is going to be his first book published in seven years and that is the reason why I haven't been talking a lot about him because I've already read his books and I'm just waiting to read even more from him. And now my waiting time has finally ended. So what is this novel about? This is about a newborn baby whose parents' lives go in four different directions. So as you can hear, the synopsis is kind of vague because how can their lives go in four different directions? I assume it's something to do with parallel destinies, but I'm not sure about that. And also, I don't really care. I just am so pleased to finally get a book by Paul Auster and no matter what he writes, I will read it. Second to last book is The Women in the Castle by Jessica Shetuck. And this one is a 304 page book and it will be out on May the 17th. This book is kind of a wild card for me, if you can say that, because I'm not sure I'm going to want to read and review it. I am kind of interested, but I'm not sure. So if you have read this book, let me know if it is worth the read or not. This is about a woman called Marianne who returns to her castle after Second World War and she used to be a woman who threw a lot of parties, a lot of big grand parties in this castle before the war but now having returned she quickly realizes that things aren't what they used to be. So I assume this is one of those books that you can read whenever you need to feel relaxed and just want to read something that doesn't take too much attention but I could be wrong this is after all historical fiction so there might be more depth to it let me know in the comments if you know because I cannot tell you the very last book however seems very interesting to me and that is Sweet Bitter by Stephanie Dandler now as far as I remember this one has got a very sweet cover and also it is a 300 page book and it will be released here in Denmark on June the 1st this one is about Tess who arrives in a big city and who just wants to find her place in the world she is hired as a waitress in this restaurant and she quickly realizes that in this society, in this business, there is a lot of hierarchy going on and it can be kind of hard to live in and work with. So yeah, I'm just interested to see where this is going. It sounds kind of intense, it sounds kind of bizarre but also intriguing so this is another one of those novels that I would very much like to read and review and that leads me to the end of my list I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope that you can share some of my excitement with me for some of these titles thank you so much for watching and happy reading